camera three. Oh, it should have switched, did it? Streaming has evolved to more than just filming yourself while gaming. People do cooking streams, people stream inside of a home gym, they film something outside of their house in the backyard. And all of these streams have one thing in common, you need to walk around to do stuff and then sometimes you're not in the frame. So as a result of that, auto-tracking webcams are becoming more and more popular. Now here I don't have one auto-tracking webcam, I have five of them. I'm gonna spread these cameras around the room and the goal is that it would be possible to walk around my room build a setup, get stuff and always be in the frame because all of these cameras are going to be tracking me. I'm also gonna try to switch between the cameras with my voice by saying camera 1, camera 3. Let's check out what's inside of it. The company first sent me one of them so I could check it out and see if I wanted to make a video about it. But I was so impressed by the quality and then how well it was tracking me that I said if you sent me four more of them I think I can do something. <laughs> So yeah, here we are. The quality that these cameras are filming in is 4K 30 FPS or 1080p 60 FPS. As you can see, they can move sideways like this and then tilt like this. So there's a lot of freedom to track everything. Now in the box comes a stand and you can connect it magnetically, which is really neat. And then they give you a USB charging cable and a USB-C cable. By the way, if you don't have USB-C, they also give you a USB-C to USB adapter. Now, before we check out the software of this webcam and then I install all these webcams around the room and test all that, I wanna show you the quality of the webcam, the tracking, and then also the hand gestures that you can do to make it zoom in or zoom out and all that stuff. Seems like this piece wasn't positioned correctly. So if everything works as intended, I should be able to add it as a video capture device here in OBS Studio. I can see it here, OBS both tiny 4K camera. And there you go, it works. And at the moment it is not tracking me. As you can see, I can move and it doesn't track. And now the only thing I need to do to make it track myself is hold my hand like this and then it should be tracking me. There you go. So when I move now, it just keeps me in the frame. And you really need to see this in real life to see how cool it actually is. So no matter what you do, if you walk further away, like this for example, I will walk behind my desk here and it just keeps tracking me. And now here's the cool thing. So when you wanted to zoom in, you just hold an L like this and then it just zooms into you. The zoom is pretty big and I'm just right here. I could do an unboxing right now. I could do the L so it zooms out again and then in the meantime, I can go over here and then I can say, hey, I wanna talk about this microphone. So I do this again and then it will zoom in and I can just talk about this while the camera is constant tracking me I will come back to the PC and we'll see how it looks like this it just will never lose track of you and the really cool thing is that sometimes you sit like this on stream and then sometimes you will sit here and the webcam is just always gonna make sure that you are in the frame by the way another really cool way to use this is if you're using a vertical webcam so let's say you use your webcam like this in the corner while gaming let's say you cut it out even more like this then since this is vertical it's really easy to be out of frame however with this webcam it will always keep you in in the middle so if you decide to like lay back like this it will slowly track you and it will slowly move your face in the screen now since we have five of these and i have a huge screen here as my second one we're gonna use something really cool which you can find in the view and then multi-view so what this is is it is a separate scene switcher and as you see i have three scenes on the bottom left and i can see the same scenes here in the switcher so you can just click on another scene and then it will just switch to it i will click on the webcam and it will just go back and i'm gonna be installing five of these around my room and then we will see all five of them right here in OBS. So this switcher will go on the second screen and so then while building on that desk there I will be able to see all the camera perspectives and I will be able to choose to which camera I want to swap. So I'm quickly going to unbox the four other ones. I just realized that the other camera is following me around. As you can see let's say I want to install one of them here. It's just gonna follow me. The setup isn't even finished yet and it's already a great solution. Now before I forget if you want to buy this yourself I guess I can use that camera there. I think there will be a back to school action going on right now. If you watch this video later in the future, I think that when they have a sale going on or some promo code, it is available on Amazon. The back to school action is available right there. You can just check the box and I think it's like $40 off. I'm going to install the other one right here at the screen. I'm gonna zoom in if it works. Maybe you need to put it next to you. Oh yeah, that's right. They told me you need to make the gestures next to you instead of like in front of your face. Now, this is the perfect opportunity to show you because the camera definitely lost me. So you can just hold your hand like this and then it will retarget you. And then now it will be following me again. So let's zoom out again. You definitely need to do it next to you because otherwise sometimes it doesn't see it. And if you would be doing a cooking stream and walking around in your kitchen, taking some stuff, 
this is absolutely perfect so i found the stand for the next webcam so there is a connector on the bottom you can screw it on a stand as you can see i bought a lot of really long cables to connect all these cameras to my pc now i've been playing around with all these cameras and then also in obs with the multi view and i have some good and bad news about this so the bad news is that only three out of the five cameras are working now this isn't the fault of the webcams they are awesome i'm gonna show you in a bit but the reason is that my pc can only handle three video streams through usb you can upgrade your pc by adding another usb controller you can buy it it looks like a mini graphics card you put it into a pcie slot just like a graphics card and that just adds a few usb slots and that way you will be able to handle more cameras now the good news is that three of them are working perfectly and it's awesome so you are seeing five cameras now but this is camera one two and then three and then there are two on top because i'm in studio mode i can disable it and then if i use my shortcuts to switch the scene you will see that this is the active scene and these are the options now i'm gonna zoom in a bit on the cameras because i want you to pay attention to the three cameras on the bottom and see that they are working absolutely perfect and you can see me sitting down here on the chair they are still following me now the next step is the most exciting one and it's figuring out how i can switch between all these cameras with my voice by saying camera two camera one camera tree and i saw a video on this a while back by a creator called nutty i think it was this tutorial control obs using your voice Ooh. now before we set up the multicam i want to check out the software because you have pretty cool and basic controls here and they also have some settings so as you see when i move this control button you can literally control the whole webcam so let's say i want to aim this camera at the door i'm gonna try to do it with this control and we also have a zoom control so let's say i want to zoom in for when someone walks through the door i'm gonna click on add position on the bottom now and so now by the way this is the first time i'm testing this but i'm gonna lock this camera on my face again so it's tracking me now and i'm gonna click on preset location one and it's going to aim towards the door and let's see if it also zooms in i think it zoomed in so that's perfect it works perfectly and then this here is pretty interesting you can disable the gesture control so the lock target was showing your hand by the way i think it's like this instead of like this i did it with my fingers closed throughout the whole video but i think that this is actually what you need to do and then it works much faster <laughs> if you do it like this so here you can unlock that and then the gesture zoom that was showing an l and then it zooms in now this option is also really important you can choose how much the camera should zoom in when you show an L. So the maximum you can go is times four. And I'm gonna click on done and I'm gonna get behind the desk. So <laughs> let's see how far it goes. Now this can do some pretty decent zooming. And one really important thing is that you can see that it barely keeps my head in the shot. If I go like this, it will go up, but a bit of my hair is still outside of the frame. And this is a setting that you can change. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I assume that headroom mode is gonna make sure that a bit more of my head is in the screen. As you can see, this is actually perfect. This camera is extremely cool. If you are someone who needs this type of camera, if you do like, as I said, kitchen streams is a perfect example, but there's a lot more you can use this for. If a teacher wants to be able to teach online and then get up and then show something on a whiteboard in the back, for example, this is absolutely perfect. So it seems like you can enable HDR, you can change the autofocus to face specific or global, then same thing, make the exposure adjust to the face, which is perfect. There are some white balance options and then you can change the color and the exposure on the bottom. You can enable remote controller and let me get it real quick. And I hear something inside of it. Let's try to get it open. Oh, so this is a USB transmitter. So apparently you need to plug this in the PC and then the remote can get in contact with the program. Apparently you can access the three preset positions. You can move it around with these arrows. So as you see in the software, we have the three devices here and you will be able to switch between them with the remote. And then you can also zoom in and zoom out. So if you don't mind using this remote while you are live with multiple cameras, or with one of them you can just control everything like this and then switch to the second camera and then zoom in however i want to be able to stream and say camera through and then automatically make it switch to camera through and as i said before i think it's possible and i'm gonna follow the tutorial right now this guy is a legend he knows everything about obs and as you can see his camera automatically switches with his voice i want to do the same thing so we need a program called voice attack so i'm gonna check it out i guess i'm just gonna download it and i'll let you know once i figured everything out now i think i figured it out and i'm gonna test it so there is a program that is listening to my voice to this microphone right now and i'm gonna test if it works so i'm gonna say camera one <laughs> and it actually switched so let's try to go to the camera behind me camera three oh it should have switched did it <laughs> 
actually switched. This is kind of amazing. So as you can see, voice attack, this is the program that recognized me saying something. As you can see, it is recording my voice on the bottom. So I'm gonna say another keyword, camera one. As you can see, it recognized it. So the setup of this is actually not that hard. As you see here, I added a new spoken command, camera one, for example. And what this camera one command does is it presses the zero key. And then what happens if I press the zero key? Well, if we go to hotkeys and then to camera one, this is equivalent to the zero key. Then I just switch to this scene. Now, a very useful privacy feature of this webcam is that if you turn it down like this, you will see that the light goes off and the camera won't wake up again unless you do it yourself with the software or by just turning it up again. Another way to do the same thing and increase your privacy is with a switch cable and this way instead of unplugging the power cables you can just turn it off physically and this is the fastest and most secure way. Now as a microphone in a setup like this one way is using a headset mic like this but the quality of that is pretty low. So I have a microphone taped under my shirt like this. It just sticks to my skin under the shirt and that records everything. It's wireless. The transmitter is just in my pocket and this sends the signal to my PC or to my camera in this case. However, this is definitely not cheap. I will link this right here and then also some cheaper options in the description. This was a different kind of setup to what I normally build, but I had so much fun with this. As I said before, there is a back to school action going on right now and you can always buy this on Amazon. I will link it in the description. If you want to see me building other setups, I will point you to those playlists because people love these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.